when you say they tortured you, what exactly did they do to you and your children? And these children, was it a boy and a girl or two sons? Two sons. Including the one that was shot? Yes. So, so what exactly did they do to you in the bush? Mm, they put the plastic over my head. They, they tie it. I couldn't even breathe. And also they put the, 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 the what do you call it, the belt, the electric belt on my waist. So they press it and then also they drag us, like myself, I'll talk about myself, they drag me into the car roughly. From this house? No, in the bush. So, so where did they find you first? So they took you. They took us from here. Oh, it, it was uh, nine o'clock mm. in the morning. They they told me that I must tell all my children they must not go to school. You wait so, for them. Yes. Then they come. They took us to the bush. Then we they we come at around about six in the evening. They brought you back at six in the evening. Yes, they brought me back. So they took you in the morning, the whole day, the whole day torturing the day. you yes. with electric belts, putting plastic over your heads, oh. and they're doing the same thing to your children as well. I think so. Also, you were separated from the children. Yes, I was separated. They start with uh, with Tepi, so they torture him. Then after that, they come and take me. They torture me after they, they took one day also torture him. What are they saying to you all this time that they're doing this torture? They say, who killed Jimmy? I said, I don't know. They said, whom are you hired to kill Jimmy? I, said, I didn't hire anyone. They say, you are lying. Because there, there were many police, I think, all of them there were 12, if I'm not mistaken. Three white guys. Three white men? Yes. Were they the torturers, the three white men? No. They were just standing there. So at some point they did take out the mask and you could see their faces? Yeah, I, can, I could see everyone. And you can point at those policemen today? Oh, now today. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. And but I think they knew who were in duty on that day. Because they were not around. The, those policemen, they were not the police that are around here. So in your they view, they were from Ah. Uh, they were from Mitlibek. And so after they did that to you and your children, and perhaps at some point they realized that you are not the suspect. Did they ever apologize to you and the children? Mm -mm. No, they didn't come and apologize. And no one from the head office of the police in Bumalanga has ever come to apologize? No, no one. Even ANC, I think. They never come into my house after the real of my husband. The ANC has never come in? To, to to see how we, how are we doing, you know, nobody can.